everybody, this is Desiree. Welcome back to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. And today I'm gonna be unboxing something. I got the Home Complete Firewood Rack Holder and I need to put it together and I'm very excited to see how it looks. And I will now have a place to put all my firewood instead of just scattered out on the floor like I have now. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have a hat on and a coat inside, <laughs> it is pretty cold in here. Uh, it's about 40 degrees. I do have the fire going, but I am learning that it takes a few hours for it to significantly warm up inside here, especially when it's 25 degrees outside. So, yes, that is the current weather situation. But no snow. It snowed uh, the day before I got here. what we've got so far. I just wanted to take a quick moment and thank all the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I also wanted to send out a shout out to all the ITH fans. I think it's so awesome that you guys found my channel. A lot of you watched my home being built and I'm so happy that you are now here with me and you're able to follow along on my journey. Thank you so much and I appreciate every single one of you and enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, so this looks like the two side pieces. The bolts and the directions. Doesn't look too complicated. We got eight bolts, eight lock nuts, and eight washers. Okay, so it says locate the bottom bed and put on the floor. Well, it's, this is good. Locate one side, then connect it on the bottom bed with bolt C, washer E, and lock D. Do not tighten the bolts. And it says when assembling, do not forget to add the washer, which is part E. Okay, I'm just gonna get everything out. And I'm gonna put one of these down here. I'm guessing it goes like that. I will say it's not the easiest to um, get these nuts on right in the crook here. Uh, you gotta have little fingers for this. So someone with bigger hands might have even more trouble with it because it's not the easiest for me. These are super loose right now because I actually can't hand tighten them at all. I'm going to have to get a tool to do it. Okay, cool. So I've got everything in place. Now all I have to do is just tighten everything and we're good to go. As I mentioned before, up in these corners where it slopes, it's kind of hard to maneuver tools and fingers. So, uh, this is taking me a little bit longer to get this side. Okay, it's all done. 
that probably took me about less than 15 minutes to assemble this. So it was pretty easy to put together, pretty simple. Uh, I mean, the heart, and I was being really picky. I mean, the hardest part was getting up in here where it's just like a really tight area. But other than that, like, that really wasn't that big of a deal, to be honest. So, but this is it. This is the completed um, wood rack. So uh, I'm going to do some measurements here just to show you guys all the measurements. Okay, so the length is 18 inches and the width here is 14 inches. The height. The highest point of it right here is 15 inches. Okay, so here is the final wood rack all put together and with my firewood in it. I actually really like it. I think it complements my little wood stove really well. And it's absolutely perfect for my tiny house. So no regrets buying this at all whatsoever. Uh, it was a great purchase and I'm definitely going to be giving it five stars on Amazon. Okay, that is it for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please remember to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And also hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever I post a new video. Although I am trying to stick to a schedule of every Saturday night at midnight. So you can watch it either late Saturday night or early Sunday morning or anytime thereafter. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.